Hi everyone, I'm Anna from Year 7. As a part of Mr. McKinnon's drama class, we devised puppet plays for you, the younger students of BSJ and all the community to enjoy. We looked at Punch and Judy and studied how to make puppets and use our voices to bring them to life. We looked at design and puppetry techniques. We had to write our own scripts, looking at what makes a good story and what we needed to include a moral to help you learn from our work. We hope that you can all sit back and enjoy some of the selections of plays from us. Thank you. There was once a little boy named Jimmy, who was apparently quite unpopular among his classmates. Hello. No one wants to talk to you, loser. Okay, sorry, I guess. And with that, he walked away. Jimmy ran back home crying as he tried to explain to his mother what had happened. But she could not understand what he was saying because he was crying so hard. Jimmy tried to calm down and explain to her what had happened in school. She thought about this for a while. Then she said to him, Tell them that you don't care. Do not give them exactly what they want by crying. Feeling better about himself, Jimmy went back into his room. This coronavirus cluster is growing with more than 30 people now suspected of having the disease. Oh, hi, Mom. Honey, we're going to learn about how to be safe in this pandemic. Okay, Mom. So first, we're going to learn how to wash our hands. We're going to get our human friend over here to help us. Now we're going to be learning about social distancing. Yeah, just stay away from people. That's pretty much it. Okay, next. Now we're just going to have to wear a mask every time we go outside and we have to measure our temperature. So stay safe. Bye. Hello, little Joe. How are you today? Come to get some sweets? Hello, Mr. Beans. I am craving for some sweets, but I don't have a single penny on hand. Well then, why don't I lend you a few? The new strawberry creams are so rich and tasty, it would be such a shame for you not to try some. Really, oh really? Thank you so much, Mr. Beans. Little Joe then set off to school with his strawberry creams in his hands. After another long day of school, Little Joe was walking back home when he spotted the sweet shop again. Instantly, his stomach craved for some. Then Little Joe had an idea. Mr. Beans gave him some in the morning, so why can't he have some now? Little Joe set off to the candy shop. Sneakily, he took a few sweets from the jar while Mr. Beans was looking away. Wow, I can take candy whenever I want and he set off happily home. The next day, Little Joe continued to steal sweets like he did the day before. Good morning, Little Joe. Good morning, Mr. Bean. A perfect time to take some sweets, Little Joe thought as his hand slipped in the jar. This continued on for several days and weeks. One day, Little Joe was walking back from school when he saw Mr. Beans closing the shop. Mr. Beans, why are you closing your shop? Ah, little Joe, I'm afraid my sweets are no longer entertaining for the people in the village. Why, Mr. Beans? They're so delicious. 
I'm sorry, little Joe, but I must, or I will run out of money and have no more left because my candies seem to be not selling well enough. Little Joe walked home sadly when he saw a squirrel looking at him. The squirrel was doing some kind of movement. He was taking the nuts from the hole in the wood and taking them one by one slyly. Then little Joe realized what the squirrel was doing. He was acting out what little Joe had been doing the past few weeks, stealing sweets. Oh no, I know what I have done wrong. Because I am taking Mr. Bean's candies, he is making no money from them. I must fix this. Little Joe ran back to chase Mr. Beans and explain. Mr. Beans, I'm so sorry. I've been taking your sweets, but now I realize it's bad. I will help you make back all your money by making a charity, and then you can sell, sweet, sell sweets again. Oh, that is why my sweets keep disappearing. Thank you for admitting what you have done, Little Joe. I am happy you enjoy my sweets so much. But please do not take more sweets. It is bad for your teeth and bad for my business. I'm so sorry, Mr. Beams. I will never do such thing again. And I will hold a sale to earn money from what I took from you, including selling all my old toys. How thoughtful of you, Little Joe. I am glad you learned your lesson. Little Joe did end up holding a small garden sale and made enough money to let Mr. Bean start his business again. And he sure did learn his lesson and never stole anything for the rest of his life. The end. La la la. Break. Break. We got a break. Three days break. Yes, three days. Mmm. Yay, 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 yay. I can stay up all night and sleep in the daytime. Mmm. How nice. But he didn't know that this was a big, big trap. Mm ha! I stayed up all night. The morning sun has risen, and it is telling me to sleep. So he slept, but not for that long. Hey, frog, wake up! Frog, wake up! Frog, frog, wake up! Frog, go eat your breakfast. Wake up! Ha! Huh. Oh, my mom says I gotta eat my breakfast. Okay, um. <sighs> ah! Now, do some homework, frog. Hey, you look sleepy. You didn't sleep last night, did you? I did sleep. Well, I will take that as a no. Now, do your homework. Okay. So he did his homework while sleeping. Ah. <sighs> I at last finished all my homework, and it's night now. I gotta stay up today too. Frog, huh? don't stay up today. Sleep today, okay? Okay. I don't care. I gotta stay up. Ha! 
I said I'm gonna stay up. Ha! Huh. I gotta do some drawing. <laughs> then the long break ended, and he went to his school. Hey, frog. What are you doing there? Oh, hello, teacher. I'm awake and I'm not doing anything. Okay, then take a look at this question. One plus one plus one. What's the answer? What's the answer? It's six. No, it's three, Frog. Okay. The answer is three. F correct. Then, what about this question? Two plus two plus two. What is it again? This time, six, Frog. Six. Okay, teacher. The answer is six. That's correct. You may sit down. But in the PE lesson, something no one expected happened. So today, we will be running three tracks. Yes, three tracks. Just three tracks. Run! Okay, so frog. We have to run three tracks. This is hard. Yes, indeed. This is hard. But we have to do it. Let's go. Okay. We 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 Hey, frog. Come. Yeah. Uh, hold up. Uh, so I have to take a rest here. Go. You can go first. Okay. Hey, frog. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, hey. teacher. What happened to frog, doctor? She did not sleep in the night. So she got tired and tired and she fell down during the PE lesson. Well, okay, so I guess correct. Frog, you have to sleep in the night and wake up in the morning or you will get another day like this. So finally, Frog learned that he has to sleep in the night and wake up in the morning. And it's same as you. If you don't do that, you'll get a day like frog. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Jones. Why did you call me? Hello, Miss Stacy. I called you because Chloe's not attending the class and also not doing your homework. What? No, she's a great girl. It's true, Miss Stacy. So I want you to tell Chloe to take the class and do her homework. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Chloe, your teacher told me you're not attending the class and also not doing the class homework. Is it true? Yes. Chloe, now I'm going to check to Mr. Jones. You're attending the class or not? So take the class, okay? 
Okay. Hello, Mr. John. Stacy, have you told Chloe to take the class? She's not attending. Yes, of course. She is still not taking the class. Yes, and in their grade card is zero. I don't like my students having zero in their grade card. I thought the idea. So if she take the class, let's give her points. Is it great, Miss Stacy? Okay, I'll tell her. Chloe, I got a call to a teacher. Sorry, mommy. Chloe, I'm really disappointed to you, but I'm going to give you a chance again. So if you take the class, I'm going to give points each of the classes. Really? Yes, Chloe. Good morning, Chloe. Good morning, Mr. Jones. You look very happy. Is there anything happy? Mom told me if I attend the class, she'll give me points. If I have ten points, she'll buy me some presents. Oh, that's cool. Mommy, mommy, today's the grades come out. I'm so nervous. You'll be okay. Don't be too nervous, Chloe. <phone rings> mommy, mommy, I'm eight out of eight. Wow! Good job, my daughter. Can I have one? Sorry, dude. We're out of stock. Look at the manual. You have enough, but there's no more stock. I'm sorry, kid. Aww. Use the vending machine. Okay. Ugh, it's out of order. What should I do? Uh, should I tell him about the apple tree outside of the school? Yes. Hey, I know the thing. There's an apple tree outside of the school. I think you can take the apple tree. Yes, I got it. I got it, guys. Oh, it's rotten. Now what? Here you go. Thanks. Turn me into 
into a normal human. I said, okay, after I do this, you, you will know what you did wrong. And finally, this is the last word I will say until you say sorry to that time. Dad, I'm sorry. Do you think I will think that you're saying the truth or just saying, making a joke to me? No, I'm not. Okay, anyways, bye. See you later. No, don't leave me. Help. She's so Where's my boy? Oh, where is he? Oh my god. I'm here. I'm here. What is this plant? This looks so cute. If I find my boy, I shall give it to him. Ugh. Oh, wasn't that not cutting? No, don't cut me! Ugh. Ugh. Wait, plants also have lives. I better not cut this. I was so mean to that little tree. I'm sorry, tree. That was terrifying. Where is my boy? I'm gonna be so mad. No, actually, I'm very mad right now. Oh, I have learned a lesson and I'm so sorry. I think I just felt like the plant that I almost killed. I will apologize and I really mean it. Oh good, and do not do that again. And also don't forget to apologize to that tree that you almost killed. Okay, I will apologize to that tree and I promise you I will never do that again. I'm so sorry, plant. It's not okay, but if you promise me that you will never do that to the other plants too, I mean, I will forgive you. Okay, I will never do that, and I will promise you, like for real, like 100% real, like to the god, um, the plant god, and you. Yeah. Okay, good idea. Yay, I'm back to human! Things to remember not to kill plants because plants create oxygen and if there are no oxygen then you will die because you need oxygen to survive and plants not only die by humans because they also die by air pollution and finally don't kill plants and bye bye thank you for watching Whatever you want, only if you put your mind to it. What's wrong there, guy? I don't think that I could become an astronaut. It's okay. I will make sure that you become an astronaut. Yes, me and your classmates will help you become an astronaut. Yay, thank you, guys. That really means a lot. Hey, son, how was school? It was good, but I'm going to go to my room now. Hey, we have a surprise for you outside. Yeah, we have a surprise for you outside. All right, let's go outside then. Look what we made for you. Oh my God, you guys actually made me a rocket ship. Whoa, thank you. You wanna go in it? Yeah. Wow, this is so cool, guys. Oh my Whoa, God, dude. oh my You're God, actually you actually go going into the yeah, rocket ship. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. cool. Whoa. Did you learn that you could do whatever you want? Yes. Well, let's go inside.